out there and not being trapped in the house anymore. When the coronavirus pandemic came to Canada, many normal aspects of life grounded to a halt. Here in Manitoba, lots of people went on lockdown to help flatten the curve. This affected all aspects of life, including news team sports. But on June 1st, Manitoba's chief health officer, Dr. Brent Rusin, announced phase two of the province's reopening. Today, there are no new cases of COVID-19 to report. As of this morning, there are no cases in hospital or in the ICU. So phase two, uh, day one is, is today. This means that team sports were allowed to resume activities although there are some new rules to ensure everyone's health and safety. Today we spoke to some coaches and players of U16, Winnipeg Lightning softball team, and Dr. Brent Rusin to see what that looks like. When lockdowns first began, how do you guys think it affected your sport? For us, it, it was a bit of a drag because it was just as we were getting ramped up and, and then all of a sudden we had to quarantine and we weren't sure if there was going to be a season or not. All of our practices completely stopped and it was kind of like a hundred to practicing to completely nothing. So it was a big difference. It was hard to stay motivated, but as I went on, um, it was easier because I could do drills outside and go for runs. I had created some uh, workout programs for the kids and trying to have them, you know, stay focused on the season by doing those things and staying accountable by sending me the videos. Manitoba and Winnipeg specifically have shown much lower numbers in regards to COVID-19. Why is that? When uh, the uh, virus first hit Canada, it hit it in the large provinces that had many um, frequent international flights directly to it, so in, in BC and Ontario. Uh, so that gave Manitoba a, a long time to prepare for our response. Uh, did these low numbers influence the decision to move into phase two? So we saw that our, our curve was flattened. Um, and uh, and we were able to go to phase one and, and saw that our curve was still flat and so that uh, uh, made us confident to go into phase two. So what we did was uh, we allowed a return to team sports uh, for both children and adults uh, and we put it out there that uh, you know each sort of sports can have to come up with ideas on how to minimize that risk. I uh, did the rules change and sort of how so? I don't think we're allowed to be like in the dugout all at one time. Also, um, we're not allowed to like high five or like get in huddles. We're gonna have to sanitize the balls. Uh, the umpires are gonna be behind the pitcher. Um, but on the most part, our games are gonna look pretty similar. Is there any part of you that's like scared you might get COVID or like maybe one of your teammates might get it? Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit scared, but I feel that if we keep a good distance between each other and like put hand sanitizer on and make sure that we're all respecting the rules, that everything will be fine. Six feet apart, six feet apart, social distancing. How did you feel when they announced phase two? I was so excited. I was really happy about it. Um, I was excited to see all the team and get to play with them. Um, I didn't really appreciate getting to see um, my team and getting to like, be around them all the time until I couldn't so like some people still don't have that and like some people around Canada still can't play so we're ha we're happy in Manitoba that we get to see our teammates and play games. So everybody come on in not too close. Lightning strikes! It's easy to see how excited kids are to return back to the sports they love but even here the rules are still very strict to help stop the spread of coronavirus while many other provinces have not yet moved into phase two Hopefully with physical distancing and following the health officials guidelines, all the kids in the country will be playing their favorite sports very soon. For CBC Kids News, I'm Callie Lane.